a lot of media out there? My one's going to get a photo. Last time I'm going to be quiet. This is such an historic day um, for so many reasons, but not least the fact that my parents and grandparents never thought a day like today would come. Um, this place was designed in such a way that it wasn't to happen, but here we are. The executive office is now two women at the helm. Um, we also have two junior ministers that are also female. I think that speaks volumes to young women out there that you know they can achieve um, anything that they set their minds to. Believe, and actually whatever you want to do, you can do. I wanted today to talk directly to those young people. Uh, I want to have their backs, that I want to hear what's important to them, that, we, that they can change the world, because I genuinely believe that. So we all know, collectively we all know, as a society we know the value of peace. Okay, I mean, I, I'm very happy to work with who, whoever they had to put forward, but yes, I've known Emma for quite some time. Um, obviously she's been about the institution, so yeah, I think we will get on um, just fine, and I think that we have work to do and we just have to get down to, to brass tacks now and actually get it done. I mean, I think we, we have many shared priorities, particularly around, you know, childcare. I think that's one of the biggest issues facing families right now, affordable childcare being an option to them. Um, I think this is something that together this executive wants to do. Um, I am absolutely determined to work in partnership with others and I think that's what the public want to see. They want to see politics working. They want us to be dealing with things like childcare. They want us to be reforming our health service and making sure they can get access to the health service when they need it. Yeah, we're straight into it from uh, Monday week, or from Monday week, from Monday. <laughs> we have a busy week ahead of us, yeah. Lots to be done.